one of the initial offerings from Bison Relay was the news feed. And this is quite impressive. This is kind of like your Twitter area or your Discord area where you get to see everyone's posts as long as you're connected to them and you can actually build up a wall here of all different posts as you can see. Um, so I'm connected to a few different people. And if we look into this one here, you can see all the different formatting that, that I've currently used. So this is what, one from me. So I've currently used an image. I've currently used a title, some text and a link. All of this, in order to get the formatting, is done in a, a thing called Markdown. It's actually quite impressive. It allows the editor to be, qu editor to be quite lightweight um, while still performing some complex tasks. So once you're into the post, you can actually read comments and things like that. So this is the first release of Bison Relay and already is quite feature rich. It's actually really, really cool. One of the first things we should go over is how to connect with another user's content. And then we'll build some posts. So if we head on over to the chat and we choose my alternate account. So here it is. So if we click on the icon, we get all of these different options. Now, in order to connect with someone's news feed, you do have to click on these two links here. So the subscribe to posts allows you to see future posts. So if I, if I was described to Phoenix now, it would kind of link us together so I can actually see all of all of their future posts. If I want to see all of their past posts, I could click this list post button. I am going to get a whole bunch of content now, so it's going to get a bit messy. But this allows us to see all the posts that I've pu published in the past. Now, it's important to note that you only need to do this for the, for the people that you want to connect with, and you only need to do it once. So once you've hit the subscribe to posts on one person and the list posts on one person, that's all you have to do. It. And then in future, that will just keep happening naturally, and you'll see that person's posts. So once you've connected the people and you go back to your newsfeed, if they've posted anything like I did in the past, you can scroll back through and you can see all of the past posts. You can click on the read button and you can actually get all that information. So just to show that we are connected to Phoenix, I'm going to go over to my other computer and I'm going to hit the post button. And I've just created a, a nice little post just to show you that we're connected and the formatting works. So here we go. OK, so there it is. That took about 30 seconds for it to turn up. Um, but you can see we've got this new post there now and we can press the read more button. Now, some of my um, styling hasn't turned up. So this should have been a title. So using the hashtag should have got me a title. Now, the reason this isn't working is because I forgot to put the space in. Now, one thing um, at the moment, you can't edit this. So unfortunately, that mistake is kind of living in inf infamy. Um, and that's fine. That goes with spelling mistakes and, and, and everything like that as well. But you can see that. I've got some bullet points, I've got some links here, and I've also got an image. So the post has worked, and that, and that came through relatively quickly. Now let's go through the process of creating our own post. So we've got our news feed, we've got our subscription, so these are all the people that I'm currently connected to, and then we've got this button here that says new post. So if I scroll over, I've got my Decode Magazine loaded here, and I've got this new post. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull this one in. So just copy that and then put that in as the first line. And then I'm just going to put in a hashtag and a space this time. So don't forget the space, otherwise um, the markdown won't work. Then I'm going to get this subtext. Um, then I want the image. Now the image you do need to download um, in advance in order for that to work. So I'll come back to the image in just a moment. And let me get this bullet point list first. And I'll probably just leave it at that and then I'll I'll put a link at the end of it. So the highlights, oops. The highlights actually a subtext. So let's put two hashtags and a space there. So that gives us a subheading. And then above the subheading, we do want the image to go in here. So I've already downloaded the image. I've already compressed it. So it's about 40 kilobytes. It's quite small. So I hit the file button or the load file button. So click on the image you want and you'll see from here that it is quite small. It's about 40 kilobytes. So then we say choose file. So now we can add some auto text. You kind of need to do this. Um, so I'm just going to say um, decred. There we go. 
And then finally, in order for the image to show, you do have to press this plus button. And it took me ages to work this out, that this plus button actually does something. And that's what allows the image to be embedded in the post. So if I click this button now, I get this line of text. Now, I actually don't want it here. So I'm just going to cut it from here. And I'm just going to put it up here. If I wanted a second post or a second image, I could do that here as well. So all you'd do is you'd load up another image, you'd put your alternate text in, and then you'd press this plus button. Now, the last thing that I want to do is just put a link in. And then let's go and get that link. And then we'll just paste the link in. Now, links work automatically, which is really, really cool. So there's no, no need to put any mark down in here. It will just work. But let's have a look. We've, we've built this post. And let's just have a look. So if we press the Create Post button now, and then there we go. We get this nice big this nice big bit of text. If you wanted to show the image first, all I would have done is I'd have put that link at the very top. And what that would have done is it would have put um, an image as my first part of the post. So if I click on this, you'll notice that that's an image post, but there is some text to it as well. Okay, so you can do it that way. If you if you prefer it to be seen as just an image, you can actually put the image first and that will show up there. If you click into the read more button, you'll notice that I've got my title, I've got my normal plain text, then I've got my image, then I've got my subtext with a bullet point list, and then I've got my, my link. And then if I want to add a comment, I can do that here as well, and then I can post it. And pretty much everyone else's comment will come to that point. Um, there are still some issues with the formatting. Obviously, the bullet points um, don't show up very well, and the, the actual text probably could do with being a bit bigger. But it's not a bad start. Now, the final note from me, if you are wanting to use Markdown, you're thinking, well, what is all this Markdown stuff? There is a website, and I'll link to it, that allows you to have the, the Markdown guide, which allows you to have a, a little guide. So rather than having an editor, the Markdown works like this. So you just put in a symbol before it happens. So you've got hashtag, space, and that gives you the, the title text. Two hashtags, space, gives you a subheader, and then a sub-subheader is three hashtags and space. Then you've got the bold, which is two stars. Italics, which is one star. If you want to make a quote, so I could have, if I wanted to, if I go back to this one, this is this is a quote here. So if I wanted to have a quote line or something similar, I'm not sure how it looks in Bison Relay yet, but you'd have this kind of forward arrow. You've got different kinds of ordered lists and unordered lists. Now I use the stars. That might be why mine didn't work properly. So next time I'll try this little line and see if, See if that works a little bit better. That's pretty much it for this post. I hope that was useful. If you want to see how anything else works in Bison Relay, obviously give us a comment below. Let us know what you'd like to see, and I'll try and make a video on it just explaining some of these points.